So Justin is an uh, eight-year-old boy that was born with a rare condition called glycogen storage disease. This disease affects one in every hundred thousand kids and is only known to have 11,000 known cases in the world. This condition uh, has affected us dramatically as a family, but has also brought us together and, and given us strength to move forward every single day. We recently took a, a trip to Ohio to meet with a doctor that's currently studying the condition. Um, basically, uh, we admitted him for three days. She evaluated him um, with different treatments to one to explain to us um, what, what, she, what, what were her plans and how it was going to work with Justin and his younger brother Jeremy who also has the condition and basically it's very simple it's a high protein diet and believe it or not is a a product that you buy in the supermarket cornstarch and um, basically what I do is I combine this product cornstarch with protein and give it to him every six hour and that as per the doctor um, will help him on his lifespan. Another reason for our trip was to get hope, you know, to, to hear someone actually know about the condition and explain to us that if we maintain this strict diet with him, he is able to, to, to live a normal life and is able to, to do what other kids are able to do. So this is Justin, one of my patients with glycogen storage disease type 3. Um, now Justin um, has not always had the right treatment for his disease and even at his young age he's suffered a lot of muscle damage, um, which we can tell both from blood tests and just from um, how he's doing, how he's able to um, get around and, and things like that. So we just started Justin on a high protein diet. Um, and just the right amount of cornstarch to keep his blood sugars normal. And I expect in the next few months we're going to start to see big differences in his blood tests and the way he feels. Justin has had seven surgeries uh, to date, all of them related to the glycogen storage disease. Uh, you know, he was born with a hyper extended knee, and immediately a day later after being born, we had to fix that leg. Um, ever since he's had six additional surgeries on top of that um, including biopsies for the liver and including uh, many treatments that he's also had to help him with the muscle weakness that he, that he has. He does have limitation. Um, his limitations um, consist of um, any physical activities um, with outdoor activities such as riding bike, running, climbing. Um, it also affects um, um, his speech. He has, um, he knows what he wants to say, but it's very hard for him um, to express himself. He also has a um, problem like getting dressed, um, basically coordinating um, his, his daily activities. Um, he always needs assistance to, to get from one end to the other. Um, but he does um, receive um, help and, and, and therapy for, for these um, issues that, that he's going through. Uh, Justin enjoys playing baseball and we had given him the chance last year to try sports and, and to try baseball. And uh, two months into the season, we realized that he was having a very difficult time when he would hit the ball and, and couldn't even run. He would walk to the base because of his muscle weakness. And it was, to be quite honest with you, frustrating on him, uh, for him. And we decided to take him out and, and let him uh, decide when he's ready to, to try baseball or any other sport. And that's why we're working really hard with this recent diet that uh, Dr. Cilionitis from Ohio uh, gave us and is working with us to make sure that he does have that uh, life balance of being a kid. What, what can I say about Justin? Justin is a very caring and loving child. 
he he enjoys interacting with any age group from little kids to an adult he has um he has come a long way he has learned how to how to um just be just and just 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 enjoy those, those moments that that he couldn't do before he was afraid his self-esteem was so so low that that he was afraid to approach anyone because he thought what they're going to say about me but now i'm seeing a whole improvement on him and he's he's a wonderful kid he, he gets along very well with his brothers brothers which is Jaden and jeremy and sometimes he's helpful at home <laughs> But um, but basically, I I really enjoy his his loving and his caring for others. Justin is a a kid that is right now a role model for all of us. The obstacles he's had to go to go through in the eight years he's been alive has been something that we couldn't even imagine going through. And he is our rock, and his little brother Jeremy, who has the same condition, looks up to him and calls himself DJ Jeremy. So <laughs> it's uh, it's great, and you know his his middle brother is a very supportive uh, Jaden, and Justin is definitely a role model for all of us. That when you are down, don't 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 let that get to you. Just just get up, head up, and and go to work, go to school, contribute to society in whichever way possible, and don't think about what could stop you just go forward justin since he was a baby he would uh always love listening to music and at the age of five he showed a lot of interest in djing and I'm, as a part-time i come home and you know as a hobby and enjoy djing in, in the basement and one day he asked me you know in his own gestures they had can i try it and I was hesitant to lend him my system, obviously being something that's uh, an expensive piece of equipment. And I decided to give it a shot. And that shot has led Justin to many, many things in life. And it's taken us to this moment right now where we are celebrating life with him and the ability that he has as a DJ to get his music and get his word out through his music. It makes that even more special. Justin, uh, the first chance Justin got to DJ live was uh, actually at my parents' wedding uh, in September of, of 2012, and that moment was epic, uh, only because no one knew exactly what he was going to bring to the table, you know, when he got on stage, and from that moment on, it just felt like it was a natural thing for him to be on stage. Uh, Justin has been invited to many radio stations, including New York, Pennsylvania, um, he's been in different venues locally in Crocodile Rock. He's performed um, at uh, the Latin uh, Steel Stacks of War Festival, uh, has been in many newspapers in town, um, and recently was on national television for the Spanish version of Good Morning America. Uh, Justin was also invited to uh, throw out the first pitch at the Iron Pigs game, and that was an experience that we will never forget, and we will love to get... Uh, him to do that in many other stadiums to share his message with the world about his condition and about this talent that he has for DJ. What we're hoping for is that with Justin's story is that one doctor out there will realize the effects that this condition has and that can possibly help us. I mean, we are dealing with a doctor in Ohio, but we just want the awareness to be out there for this condition, again, called glycogen storage disease that affects many things, not just one thing. Again, it affects the heart, the muscle, the liver, um, speech, impediment, so many things that can affect a kid's life. We're hoping that Justin and, and, Jer and his little brother Jeremy can have a long lasting life and a doctor can help us, you know, and guide us to, to make sure that we do as parents, give them the best that we can. Thank you for watching my story, never give up.